Yo, what's going on guys? It's Team Bukali here with another video. Today I got some more double battles on the battle spot, but this time I got a new team. I made a new team. This one's going to be a Mega Mawile team. Uh, pretty powerful Pokemon. It's it's uh, some competitive play. It's pretty much in competitive play since it came out. Uh, at the beginning of the VGC 2016 format, it was pretty popular. Because uh, it held, it really did well against Azurnius. So... Uh, just a little bit about my team. Uh, it's obviously got the Mega Mawile. Uh, I have it's a, a Trick Room team as well. Mega Mawile is really really slow, so I have Executor on there for Trick Room. I have Meowstic on there for Misty Train because if Mega Mawile, Mawile gets burned, it, it's just really bad. I mean, obviously. So I have Misty Train on there to protect him, and I have Prankster to be able to get that up before my opponent go for even for a Prankster Will O Wisp. Hopefully, I be able to outspeed. Uh, for coverage, I got a few Pokemon for coverage. There's uh, Weavile, which is there uh, mainly to take care of dragon type Pokemon. And I mean, obviously, I do have a Mega Mawile as well, but it, it also helps take care of grass types and flying types and potentially ground types as well. The knockoff I value a lot, along with Fake Out. To me, those are highly valued moves. I also have Gudra on here. A huge special tank. Uh, it's, I think it's Calm Nature. I believe that's what I chose. I don't know if it was Calm or Sassy. Uh, I believe it's Sassy. And Assault Vest, I mean just a massive special defense tank. So that's pretty much my team. It's a Trick Room team. I feel like Trick Room goes really well with Mega Mawile. So we're going to go ahead and get this first battle started. Uh... My opponent, well actually my opponent, let's talk about my opponent's team. Uh, I forgot to do that. So uh, Lily had a team of Talonflame, Azumarill, Superior, Sylveon, Vaporeon, and Breloom. So uh, here I see that the Misty Terrain is going to be absolutely important since he's got the Breloom. Which is probably gonna most uh, probably gonna want to spam spores. So if I set up the Misty Terrain, it's not gonna he's not gonna be able to do any of that. Gudra is really good here for its coverage. It's got Thunderbolt to take care of Talonflame, Azumarill, and Vaporeon. It's got Flamethrower to take care of Superior and Breloom. Mawile does pretty well here as well, mainly to take care of the the Sylveon, but it can also get neutral attacks off on uh, the the Azumarill. The neutral attacks on just about everything else. So, Executor, pretty decent here as well because he's got that grass coverage. So, but, uh, it's a pretty solid team. My opponent has no tanks, which is good to know. Uh, so, those are the four Pokemon I chose. The main reasons why I chose them as well. So, we're going to go ahead and get this first battle started. And, uh, with, uh, the, I decided to leave Meowstic Mawile since uh, I, I assumed that he was going to lead the Breloom, and I was like, well, I can just. There's not much. He, he can't status me with this lead. I just go straight for a. Uh, what's it called? A Misty Terrain, and he can't do anything. But then I see the Talent Flame, I'm like, okay, well, it's kind of troublesome since it's going to have Priority Brave Bird. So I switch out in the Gudra just because it's the only thing I could potentially take it. I didn't know if he was going to go for Brave Bird or Flare Blitz. So I was like, if he goes for Flare Blitz, at least I'll resist. I had to go for a Fake Out here. I couldn't risk a uh, a Brave Bird knocking me out. And he ends up going for Scald. Uh, so luckily he didn't get the burn. I was like, please don't burn me because I don't have Misty Train up. So he's going to do a lot of damage to Gudra. And I set up the Misty Train here just in case he, or just so he can't get that Scald burn. And... Uh, it's, so we're going to see, he actually goes for Dive here, I was like, oh wow, that's quite the interesting move. Luckily I, I went for the Thunderbolt and the Town Flame, since it's definitely the bigger threat. There's reasons I have Executor and Mawile in the back. So uh, here I switch back in Mawile. Uh, luckily I didn't Mega Evolve, because now I get another Intimidate off, and both these Pokemon are at minus two. So regardless of what they do, they're not going to be doing much damage. So we do see, the, you see how little the... Brave Bird does. 
And Psychic is going to be enough to pick up the knockout on Talonflame. So that's a big knockout for me. That's a big offensive threat that did really well against some of the Pokemon on my team. So my opponent's going to bring in the Breloom, and I'm like, okay, well, he's, well now he, there's not really much he can do since I have the Misty Terrain up. And uh, here I Mega Evolve, because I'm going on the offense, so I want to get those the boosted sets, and I want to get the, the huge power ability. So I'm in a really good spot. We're going to see, he, go, he goes for Dynamic Punch. Uh, probably he, he knew he couldn't get the uh, Spore off, I'm sure. So he went for that kind of his latch dish effort. But I do connect with the... Play rough and Breloom just goes down, and we just see a Scald. Uh, gonna do a decent amount of damage, but luckily I cannot get burned thanks to Misty Train. Talking about the trains, the new Guardians are gonna be really powerful when they come out because they're just gonna bring these trains in. Uh, so uh, the last Pokemon he has is Sylveon, which is fantastic for me. I switch out here. I in the back of my head I thought that Hyper Voice was neutral. I forgot that I, I resist. For some reason, I thought that Fairy was super effective against Fairy, and it was going to be neutral on me. So, uh, I switch out in the Gudra. At this point, Gudra's not going to be able to do too much. Uh, and you're going to see he goes for a Hyper Voice here, which, no surprise, but I do survive, which was unfortunate. I was hoping that one or even both my Pokemon would go down that turn. Essentially, I was hoping that, in a perfect world, I wanted one to go down so that I could bring in Executor, set up the Trick Room, and bring in Mawai on one shot that Sylveon. But uh, here he's going to pick up the double knockout with the Hyper Voice, which is fine. It's not the end of the world because my wild does have Protect anyways. So I ha he's not going to be able to knock out my Executor. So uh, unfortunately, the Misty Train ends here, so he can Scald Burn me. But uh, I'm still in a really good spot. I got two really slow Pokemon here. I, I go for Protect with Mawile. I'm expecting him to target it. Specifically with uh, with the Vaporeon, like a Scald or something. So we do see the Hyper Voice is going to do just over half. I'm going to eat up my Citrus Berry. I'm Citrus Harvest, so hopefully I can harvest up another berry. And I get the Trick Room up, which is pretty much going to be a good game. Uh, I'm going to... Now I'm going to... Nothing's on the field is slower than Mawile. So I just get a Hyper... Or a, excuse me, a, an Iron Head off onto the Hyper Voice. Sylveon, that's going to be an easy knockout. And this Vaporeon's low enough as it is, and that's going to be game. So, uh, Mega, or not, well, Mega Mawile is really strong just as you saw from that one battle. As, just because fairy type Pokemon, in my opinion, are really strong, and most of them are especially defensive. So, when you hit them on the physical side with a stab, uh, Iron Head, coming from a Pokemon that has a really good attack, uh, it's really good. Uh, so, the, I, I found that. Executor is really strong as well. His, his base special attack is like 125. So he's slow as well. So once you get up that trick room, he's going to be do, putting in some work, doing some damage to some Pokemon. So uh, that was that first battle. It just shows kind of the power of Mega Mawile. And um, so on to the next battle. My opponent was Luis. He had a team of Jolteon, Chandelure, Umbreon, Venusaur, Agron, and Haxorus. So I was actually, I didn't realize that Venusaur was a mega evolution possibility here. I was thinking it was just going to be the Agron. So I'm like, he's definitely bringing the Agron. There's no doubt about it. If it's his mega. I don't, it could have been a double mega team. I don't know. Um, but uh, I see here, you're going to, or, uh, Mawile is really good because for the Umbreon and the Haxorus, the only problem is this Chandelure that he has. It does it wrecks my team. It got, got super effective stab for Mawile, for Executor. So uh, could be a problem. That's why I bring Weavile specifically to take care of this Chandelure. Uh, I don't know how many ground type moves. If I had ground type moves, it'd be a lot easier to deal with the Jolteon and the Aggron. But at the same time, uh, I still have like I can always hit him for neutral moves. So. We're going to go ahead and get started with the second battle. And, uh, I didn't, like, for the Wii's, it was a little tricky for me because my opponent had uh, some good Pokemon. But I ended up going with Executor Mawile because I wanted to get the Trick Room up immediately. And here I'm like, oh, great, he did start with the Chandelure. But I'm still not in that bad of a spot because on Mawile, I do carry Sucker Punch. 
So there's not really anything that his Chandelure can do to me offensively, since if it goes for an offensive move, I can just sucker punch it. So we're gonna see the Mega Evolution from the Venusaur. At this point, at that point, I was like, oh yeah, the Mega Venusaur does exist. So lucky for me, uh, I don't have. Well, I do have Fire type moves, but I also have uh, super effective uh, Stab Psy Shock as well. So I go for the Sucker Punch. It's easily gonna pick up the knockout on Chandelure, just showing the power of Mawile. That wasn't even Stab, and that just picked up the one hit knockout. And we're going to see Synthesis right away. He was probably expecting to not be outsped. Because this is a Trick Room team. So I get a, f a free Psy Shock off as well. And I mean, that, almost a double knockout right there. And he's going to bring in Haxorus next. Which is intimidating. Uh, because it, and especially with that Unnerve. Because this is the Citrus Berry Executor. So at, th uh, at this point, uh, I know that Haxorus gets access to Earthquake. And it's a very common move to use on Haxorus. So, uh, especially when he brings in that Jolteon with the Air Balloon, I'm like, oh yeah, he's definitely going for an Earthquake. So I protect here anyways, just so I can get this Trick Room off, and with Trick Room up, I can one-shot the Haxorus. So we do see the Earthquake, and it's going to be resisted by Zekitor. It is physically defensive, but it's more offensive than defensive. But we're going to see it is uh, Life Orb as well, so we don't have to worry about a Focus Sash. And I get the Trick Room up against these two very fast Pokemon my opponent has. So I just go straight up for the play rough into the Haxorus, and that's easily going to pick up the knockout. So already two knockouts right here, just small while alone. And uh, here I go for a Giga Drain as well to try and pick up some HP. And that's going to, you see, that's a uh, 75 base power move, and that's did like 60%. So I, I didn't even consider the fact of Signal being here. I was like, please hold on. Nope. Oh well. Uh... Not too big of a deal. It ends up just being a free switch for me into the Gudra since these are both special attackers that he's got. Or he's got Jolteon and he's got Venusaur in the back. So uh, it just works out perfectly for me. And I go for an Iron Head into the Jolteon just because I saw it as the bigger threat since this Venusaur most likely has a Grass type move and a Poison type move, and Mawa is immune to the Poison type move. So uh, I just go for this since Smega Venusaur has Stick Fat. It Dragon Pulse actually does more damage than Flamethrower. So uh, that's going to be a very fast victory from... I mean, you look uh, right there alone. Mawile picked up three KOs in that battle right there. So, And then in the first battle, I think Mawile picked up another two KOs or something. So uh, I've always thought Mega Mawile has been pretty powerful. I just haven't thought about using him until now. So... Uh, should be a lot of fun. He's a lot like Salamence, where he's got the the Intimidate as his regular ability, so you don't want to Mega Evolve him until the correct moment. But, I mean, that's just a powerful ability as it is, and then being able to shut down a lot of Fairy-type Pokemon. That's why he was popular in BGC 2016 for the Xerneas. He had, I think he was able to one-shot Xerneas with Iron Head, or do like 90% damage to it or something like that. So, since mine's Trick Room, I, I guess most of them don't even invest in speed anyways. But it's like max HP, max attack. So it just gives me that extra bulk. It's going to be a lot of fun. Take down some dragons. I, Executor is really strong too. I can't believe... When I saw it had base 125 special attack, I was like, what? Are you kidding me? And it's pretty slow. So it goes well with the Trick Room team. Uh, hopefully next time I'll be able to... I have Rhyperior on the team as well. I didn't get to bring Rhyperior. Uh, even though... My opponent did have the Jolteon and the uh, Aggron there. I didn't think it was necessary to bring my Period. But hopefully in these next battles, I'll... It's more for, like, if my opponent has Fire-type Pokemon, like, two Fire-type Pokemon, especially the Mega Charizard. So, uh, hopefully in the next few battles, I'll be able to uh, use the rest of my team. And also, I also have a singles team. I'll be doing some single battles. Hopefully I'll, I'll get some uploads as well. But yeah, if you have any suggestions for me, go ahead and let me know. If you want to battle me, also let me know. But that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.